I'm Saud and in this video we shall implement SGF to schedule uh, three processes P1, P2 and P3 and let us assume that they arrived at uh, instance 0, 1 and 2 so P1 arrived at 0 at this time instant P2 arrived at 1 and P3 arrived at 2 Next, uh, let us assume that their burst times are, uh, let's say, 4, 3 and 1. So P1 requires 4 units of time to complete execution, P P2 will require 3 units of time and P3 will require 1 unit of time. In SGF, that is the uh, shortest job first, we shall execute that, that process which has the shortest burst time. At time instant 0, we have just one process, so we have no option but to execute P1 and P1 shall go up till 4 units of time. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. At this instant P1 completes execution. Now by this time two processes have arrived P2 and P3. And out of P2 and P3 the process with the shortest burst time is P3. Its burst time is 1. So at this instant P3 will execute. So from year till year that is from uh, 4 to 5 it will be P3's uh, execution. And the next is P2. And P2 will start over here. And it will go up till 8 is 3 units. Now in the uh, non preemptive model a process has to wait till a process that is running completes its execution. So at time instant 2 we had uh, 3 processes. We had process P1 which uh, required a burst time of 2 units because uh, this at this instant only two, 2 units were complete so it required 2 more units. So P1 required 2 units at time uh, 2. P3 required uh, 3 units and P3 required just 1 unit. So at instant 2, the uh, shortest, the process with the shortest burst time was P3. But we couldn't run P3 till P1 could complete its execution. In the uh, preemptive model, P1 will be uh, interrupted at this instant and P3 will complete its execution. I'll uh, make another video on uh, the preemptive model. We'll calculate the waiting times. P1 didn't have to wait at all. It uh, started execution the minute it arrived. So the waiting time of P1 is 0. The waiting time of P2 is uh, from this instant till this instant that is 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 units of time. The waiting time of P3 is 2 units. Next we shall calculate the turnaround times. Turnaround time is the time at which the process completes execution since it has arrived. So P1 complete, completed execution at this instant of time and it arrived at the instant 0. So the turnaround time of P1 is 0, 1, 2, 3, is, is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 is the turnaround time of P1. Next is P2. P2 completed its execution at this instant and it arrived over here at instant 1. So the turnaround time of P2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Next is P3. P3 arrived at uh, this instant and it completed execution at this instant. So the turnaround time of P3 is 1, 2 and 3. So we completed uh, scheduling using SJF. By the way, this type of scheduling diagrams are also called as Gantt charts. They are named after uh, Henry Gantt. He's the guy who developed charts that proceed in the horizontal direction with time. Thank you very much for listening.